And then I got to watch sniveling establishment people like this Michael Shermer, 9-11 truthers foiled by 1225 attack. We're foiled. Some simplistic thing about. Because Al-Qaeda is releasing on Israeli fake intel sites responsibility. And Intel Center, run by the CIA publicly, puts out fake videos with their logo in the same layer as the grandson of the head of the former head of the ADL, Adam Gadon. I mean, I, I mean, Israeli agents are the head of Al Qaeda on TV. I mean, how how? But the public doesn't know that. They can verify that in five minutes. They don't want to know the truth. <coughs> that is certain pockets of the population. Oh, look, somebody on a message board calling themselves Al-Qaeda took credit for this. And I'm sure the FBI will find some idiots who will carry out terror attacks. Do, should we give up all our rights, all our liberties? I mean, have you read the Homeland Security documents? Have you read the MIAC documents? The whole Homeland Security system is for Americans, conservatives, libertarians, returning veterans, gun owners, and true anti-war liberals i.e. any independent American. The whole system's for you. It surveils you. It has nothing to do with little brown people. Do you got that? The New World Order is worried about the last country they haven't disarmed, that they haven't fully bankrupted and run yet. They've taken over everywhere else. They want the U.S., the big fat engine of tyranny under full control. <coughs> Continuing here. Here's time. Yemen, Al Qaeda's new training ground. Oh my gosh. We've got to attack them. Everything's a hoax. It's like the health care bill. Now the Democrats have actually read it. It cuts everybody's health care and increases taxes. Got to pass. The banker bailout, unlimited trillions, secretly going to banks, not to get the economy going, no one gets in trouble. Everything's fake. Everything's a hoax. Everything's a fraud. We have a criminal government that's committed so many crimes, why shouldn't they commit a million more? You've got this guy on a terror watch list allowed on. You've got the FBI protecting this guy. You've got the guy's dad going and saying, my son's hooked up with something bad. You've got this guy living in million-dollar apartments, and he shows up disheveled with some handler. Witnesses say he looked out like he was drugged out of his mind. Here's some other witnesses from the airplane on the same show that Mr. and Mrs. Haskell were on, talking about the guy filming the entire flight. If the government doesn't want to talk to them. You got that queued up? Here it is. Yeah, that was very strange. There was a man that when we first took off, I noticed about 10 seats ahead of us to the left-hand side. He uh, had a camcorder, and I didn't think much of it. I thought maybe this was his first flight and was just excited. And then when the actual incident occurred, I looked up, and he was the only one standing and filming the entire thing. Interesting. There are obviously still so much more to come out about this. We really appreciate you joining us, uh, Kurt and Lori Haskell, Rochelle. And in her, uh, in her full testimony, that's another witness on with the Haskells. That's not the Haskells. In fact, I want to get her on if we can for the feds. Tell them to shut up. In the full interviews they've given on radio stations, like the radio station source I mentioned earlier, let me be exact about that, 620, she said, yeah, the whole flight he was taping. We kept wondering why. Why aren't you seeing that video on the news? You're seeing a cop photo after the cops came on when the plane landed. Everybody's saying, well, that must be the footage with the police arresting him. No, there weren't a bunch of uniformed Detroit airport police uh, on the plane. The citizens got him, tied him up strip searched him to make sure he didn't have any more bombs. And that's a police photo. Why aren't the police releasing the footage? Because they haven't computer morphed it yet. 
Why haven't they released the footage of the smart-dressed man on all those airport video cameras from Amsterdam? Why haven't they released the footage from the man on the flight? Or if they don't have it, why didn't the man on the flight give it to him? Was he the handler of this guy? Don't worry. Don't worry, underwear bomber. I will be here videotaping. Security brought you on. You go ahead. You're doing this. You're going to be a full agent once you've carried out this drill. Continue with the drill. When they come on, you tell them it's part of a drill. This is how they do it. And for any of you fools working for the government, if they ever want you to do something you think is illegal during a drill, this is how they do it. This is how they set people up. This is how they operate. This is what they do over and over and over and over again. Meanwhile, we're not even talking about government takeover of health care. One-fifth of the U.S. economy, one-sixth depending on how you slice it, what's left of the economy, openly written by the insurance companies, openly a scam, on record. Maybe Skeptics Magazine will write an article about how I'm imagining that. Maybe it doesn't have $41 million cut for Medicare or Medicaid, even though the bill says it. We'll just have someone say, oh, everything's fine. I'm an expert. I'm the anointed one. I say none of it's real. I say you can trust the government and the media. I say anyone that says government's too big or out of control, they're a conspiracy theorist. You can now be lazy and go back to sleep. 